Once you are sitting comfortably, close your eyes, check in. Just see how everything feels. Notice how the body feels. Notice how the breath feels. And notice how your mind feels. And then gradually begin to deepen your inhale, lengthen your exhale. And just notice as you're deepening your breath, does it feel like you're inhaling equally through both nostrils? And again, there is no right or wrong answer here. Just it is what it is. And then arms to your sides. And with the next inhale, feel the rib cage expand and feel the arms begin to float up just a little bit in response. As your exhale starts, the ribs draw in and those arms float back down. So let the breath start the arms lifting. Start to feel that connection of intention, breath, movement. And then just your right arm only on the next inhale, bring it up to parallel to the ground. And as you exhale, feel those ribs draw in, feel the arm float back to where it started. And then left arm, inhale, rib cage, arm floats to parallel. As you exhale, slowly bring it down. So two more like that, two more sets. And noticing that connection of breath and movement. Notice that inhale expands you. Exhale contracts you. And as you begin to deepen your awareness more, it may feel like your breath slows down, your movement slows down, and that's fine. And this time return to comfortable sitting when the arms are back down. And notice what feels different. <clears throat> With your next exhale, feel the breath start. Slowly round yourself forward from your seated position. As far down as you're comfortable and the breath allows. And then feel, inhale, feel expansion, the spine lengthens, the upper back flattens, and you slowly come back to sitting. Then again, exhale, slowly grounding down into that forward fold. Feel that contraction, the exhale, and you draw in. Feel the quality of inhale and expand. Let's do two more of these. So take your time, again, working with breath and movement. How does the breath start the movement? Okay. 
and then finish in that up in that seated position and check in for a few breaths. Again, notice what's changing. And then slowly bring yourself to standing. And again, from standing, check in and notice. See what you feel. Notice that inhale, expand. Exhale, draw in. Allowing the arms to move gently with the breath. And then stepping your right foot back, just a step. So you're still fairly balanced and you can easily keep that back heel into the ground. Hands go low across the abs. And as you inhale, slowly expand and push the breastbone forward, drop those hips forward and down. Exhale, contract and draw back in. Inhale, expand. Exhale and contract. So this time as you inhale, expand, right arm goes up, left arm goes down. So the arms are now on a diagonal. And then let the arms go the other way. So left arm expands high right arm expands down. And then pause with both arms by your sides. Check in for a breath. Bend your front knee a little bit and on the next exhale, slowly release yourself down into forward fold. Fingertips down, drop your head. Inhale, bend your front knee. Exhale, see if you can pull the ribs away from the hips, deepen the curve in your spine, straighten that front leg gently. Inhale, bend the front knee. Exhale, work on straightening that front leg. One more. And then inhale, extend and lift the chest, expand the spine, arms of choice as you bring yourself all the way back up. Check in for a moment, arms to your sides. And then on the next inhale, your right arm is going to sweep forward. As you exhale, slowly let it come down behind you, turn the rib cage, and you're going to get a little twist going backwards. Inhale, slowly float forward, shoulders are squared. You might even offset the other direction. So your right shoulder reaches forward farther than your left. Exhale, you go back. Inhale, right shoulder, arm reaches with that arm. Exhale, pull back. We got one more time. Feeling the spine twist. And then return to center. Step both feet together. Check in and notice. Right and left should be similar, but with some differences. And then please step your left foot back. Hands low across the abdomen to start, to start off with warrior one. Nice and symmetrical. As you inhale, push the breastbone forward, drop your hips forward and down, expand the arms outward. Exhale, slowly bring yourself back to that start. Again, inhale, open up. Exhale, bring it back. So this time as you inhale, the left arm goes high, the right arm goes low.
and exhale, bring it back. One more time, inhale, open. And then we're letting the arms go the other way. So the right arm goes up, inhale, expand. You still have the same torso motion going on. Exhale, bring it back. One more time, inhale, expand. Exhale, bring it back. Pause when you reach center. Bend your front knee slightly and on exhale, slowly release yourself down into forward fold. Let your fingertips go down, let your head relax. As you inhale, bend your front knee. As you exhale, slowly work on straightening that front leg. Inhale, bend the front knee. Exhale, straighten the front leg. One more time. And this time we're coming up with that inhale. So arms of choice. Inhale, feel the expansion. Chest opens and slowly lifting up. Keep your staggered stance once you get to the top. And then on inhale, you're taking the left arm, you're reaching it forward. As you exhale, you're slowly allowing the hips to twist and reaching behind you. Head rotates wherever it's comfortable. Inhale, slowly back forward. Exhale, take it behind. And again, if you want to on the way forward, you can really exaggerate and get the twist going forward as well as the twist going back. One more time. Take your time here. And then back to center. Step both feet together. Check in, see how you feel. All right, feet go just a little bit wider. Think about long spine, stay lifted. Inhale, grow the spine long. As you exhale, you're gonna look over that right shoulder and then slowly start looking down at the ground and the rest of your spine follows. So you're shortening the distance rib to hip on that right side. Inhale, feel yourself expand and you pull back up to center. Going the other direction. Exhale, start the head looking over, everything else follows. Pelvis stay still, put the movement in your spine. Inhale, feel yourself expand back to center. Two more sets, take your time here. Again, long through the low back. Start to feel the opening on the side you're leaning away from. Exhale, rib and hips separate on one side, they draw closer on the other. Trying to keep your hips and shoulders square. In the same plane, last set here. And then release, back to center. Feet come back to comfortable. And both hands on your legs, slowly with the knees bent, release down into forward fold. So let your head hang here. Hands can go wherever is most comfortable for you. And just take an inhale, allow your knees to bend. Exhale, see if you can relax the legs and let them straighten a little bit more. Think about reaching the tailbone up, pulling the top of the head down. So six breaths here, just bringing yourself into a nice neutral position. We've done a lot of asymmetry today. And then if you're using the chair for the meditation, you're gonna inhale and bring yourself up. If you're going down to the ground to sit, go ahead and drop your hips and come down into sitting. So whichever is more comfortable for you, again, take that position. So we're gonna be working with an asymmetrical breath here today. Okay, just go back 
into feeling your breath. Notice inhale, notice exhale. Slow your breath down. Feel the ribcage expand and contract. And then add a little pause in between the inhales and the exhales. So it's inhale, gentle pause where there's no movement of air, exhale, pause, no movement of air. And then as you're doing this breath, begin to feel your jaw, your neck, and allow all of this to relax. Let it go. And I want you to visualize as you inhale, the air goes through the right nostril, up and in. As you exhale, it goes out the left. Inhale, it goes in the left. Exhale, it goes out the right. So it may actually be different than what's happening, but again, we're getting the energetic effect of the breath going in on the right, out on the left. In on the left, out on the right. So if this is good for you, you can stay here. We can also add valving. So valving would be right at the base of the bones on your nose. So if you're going to inhale through the night, right, and block the left gently. On that pause, release the valve, switch to the other side, and then exhale through the left. Pause gently, stay here with the valve, inhale through the left. Pause gently, exhale through the right. And again, continue to alternate, so in through the right. Pause and switch the valve. Exhale left. Pause, keep your bow. Inhale to the left. Pause, switch your bow. Exhale to the right. So again, if the valve is too much, just visualize it. Inhale. Exhale. So this is not a shodhana. Great balancing the breath. It's also asymmetrical, what we were doing earlier. Remember to keep those little pauses between inhale, exhale. Relax the jaw. Relax your neck. And now see if you can lengthen out, exhale. Just make it a counter too longer than what we were just doing.
helping you feel the breath more. On the next exhale, if you're exhaling out to the left, do a very, very small twist to the left, just enough that you feel those muscles engage and it helps you say, oh yeah, I'm exhaling to the left. As you inhale, allow the breath to center you. As you exhale, very small twist to the other side. about that twist starting from your core, from the abdominals, so your whole body, your whole upper body gets to rotate on the inhale, and exhale. Again, it's small, it's subtle, it's more feeling and muscular engagement. Like what muscles help you exhale? What muscles help you inhale? Relaxing your neck. Relax your jaw. And if you're still doing that little rotation, bring it back to center for a moment and just notice if it's a change the way you feel the breath. to have that little bit of rotation. Feel free to go back to that. Again, knowing, noticing the effect of what these movements do, what their intentions are. Finish the breath sequence when you're on. So you'll finish exhaling out the right. And then just let the breath be whatever it wants to be. And notice what's changed. With your next exhale, slowly allow yourself to come into forward fold. As deep or as shallow as you'd like right now. To let everything kind of round forward and let yourself relax. Slowly on the next inhale, bring yourself all the way back up to that sitting. Again, check in. And then if you're already seated on the ground, just lower yourself down onto your back. If you're seated in the chair, slowly, gradually bring yourself down to the ground and onto your Once you're on the ground, knees to chest, hug, feel free to rock the hips. What do you need to do right now so that you are ready to go into Shavasana, into rest, into whatever position allows you to fully release, relax, and let go? So take a few moments here. Honor whatever it is your body needs.
and bringing yourself to that place of rest where you can fully allow the ground to support you. With each exhale, you give away a little bit more. Let your body relax, give yourself permission. Allowing the breath to be effortless. Allowing your mind to be still. If you find your mind wandering, gently bring yourself back to your breath. Just following inhale, following exhale. And again, today I'm letting you bring yourself out of Shavasana when you're ready. I thank you for being here today.